We're live here just across the street from Washburn University. We're in the 1500 block of Southwest 17th. Half a block west of Washburn Avenue here as a two-story, actually a three-story house here has had some fire damage. The fire was reported around 12.55 on uh, Thursday afternoon. And we're looking right now as to see just a little bit of light smoke coming out. Looks like they've got it under control pretty well. Got a few fire crews standing by here. They're ventilating the house right now. Nothing too severe at this point from what we can tell, but they are ventilating the residents at this time. Uh, fire was reported again around 5 till 1. I'll give you a little bit different view here of it. We won't stay here real long today. It appears that the fire was upstairs there, possibly in the attic area, which will be the third floor here of this house. One of the older houses here in the Washburn neighborhood. And again, right now, the fire looks like it's under control, like it's pretty much out. I'm not seeing much smoke as I did about five minutes ago. And again, the front door open. They've got the fans here to get the fire out. But again, uh, we've had a lot of fires here of late here in Topeka. And today we're having another one here. Uh, we don't know the cause of this place at this point by any means. It's a little early for that. We'll hope to talk to somebody here shortly and find out a little bit more about that. So anyway, folks, we'll uh, give you more information when it becomes available right now. That's really all we've got. Again, the latest in the number of fires here in Topeka. And we will sign off for now here. Just to show you one last time where we are, we're just across the street here from the Software Science Hall on the Washington campus. And we're about half a block straight west of Washington Avenue. We're between Washington and Bowdoin here. get someone to come over and talk to us. We'll come back live momentarily. Otherwise, we'll climb off for now and let you know. Looks like this fire's under control. Not too much smoke coming out now. But again, the latest in the number of fires here in Topeka. Someone says, was this intentional? Well, we don't know that at this point. We have no idea. And we don't know if anybody was in the house. Really, we don't know much information at all. If you'll kind of stand by here a little bit, we might be able to get somebody to go here to speak with us. If not, we'll sign off and we'll get some more information out a little bit later. There recently have been in vacant houses. No reason to believe this is a vacant house at this point. Nobody seems to know a whole lot about it, at least as far as what they're telling us. And uh, we'll just stay right here for a few minutes. There's only really a couple of houses in a set of feet facing here. You see uh, a couple here, some uh, apartments here, a building here, the 17th Street Student Center right here next door. And then we have this two, three-story brown wooden house. We have another house next door, then a brick house on the corner. So. Again, we're right across the street from the Washington campus, and not a lot of detail really at this point. We'll just stay here live for a minute, so hopefully we'll get made up. Traffic on 17th, in case you are out this way, is we have blocked westbound at Washburn, you can come up to Washburn, but you either have to turn north or south there on Washburn. And then 17th Street eastbound is being blocked here, it appears, at uh, Mulvane, from what, from what I can gather. I think you can go clear up there to college. There's a white truck turning on college. 
So I believe you can come down to Mulvane and turn if that's your if you're out in this area. Crews coming out of the house now as you can see. A little bit chilly out here this, this, this afternoon. I'm guessing in the low to mid 30s right now. Not a whole lot of wind, that helps. Washburn University Police out here helping to get the traffic out of this block of the 1500 block of Southwest 17th. And again, if you're just now joining us, this residence here at 1530 Southwest 17th reported a, a fire here about 1255 or thereabouts. The crews got here quickly. There was some smoke showing out of the window, I believe, on the second floor. That fire was quickly put out. And now they're just getting the smoke out of the residence. It doesn't appear to be a lot of damage. We're kind of keeping it here live just in case we can find someone who will give us a quick word from the Topeka Fire Department. So we'll we'll just kind of keep it here for a short period of time again and see if someone will give us a moment after they get some of the information gathered here at the scene. We have no reports of anyone being in the residence. From what we could tell, there wasn't anyone in there at that time. But again, we haven't gotten that word officially yet, so we will hopefully find that out real soon. You see crews are still going into the building, into this house, and coming out. And they'll probably be doing that for a while. If you'll bear with me, I'm going to be right back with you. Give me a short period of time. I will be right back momentarily. All right, we'll be, we're back now. We just had to take a few quick pictures. And we are again live here at 1530 Southwest 17th, directly across from Washington University, where there's been a house fire this afternoon. Doesn't appear to be real substantial, at least at this point. The crews are going in there right now to the check on hot spots and hopefully find out what caused this place there momentarily so we'll hopefully have some information for you here in the near oh the next few minutes near future if we don't uh get it before we sign off take cj online later we'll have an update for you at that point
Uh, we're still on Facebook Live here from the 1500 block of Southwest 17th, where there's been a report of a house fire this afternoon. <laughs> How you doing, Shelton? We're going to see if we can find somebody to talk to us here momentarily. So. Several firefighters inside the structure that had smoke coming out of it about 20 minutes ago. Hey, Sean, you got Facebook Live, how you doing? We got somebody to talk to us. You know, I think I, I think I did Well, I said, did you see you did before long? Did you we? did. Yeah. You did. No, I don't like you. Ah, well, they don't like you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's all right. No, no, you're gonna be so we're live here again on the 1500 block Southwest 17th, where again crews are putting this fire out. We're gonna just do this live. Get a good picture of you. Somebody short and sweet. Yeah, pretty much. That's, we don't need anything major. Perfect. Uh, just for the record, say, spell your name and give your title. Uh, Battalion Chief Stacy Howard. Right, spell that for me. S T A C Y H O W B E R T. All right. What can you tell us about this fire? Oh, I can tell you. Uh, fire crew showed up. They had smoke and uh, fire showing on the front side, first floor. Uh, upon investigation, they found that most of the fire was on the first floor. Nothing extended up. To the second, third floor, except for smoke damage. Uh, this time it's under investigation. It appeared to be vacant, and the utilities were, were not on at the time. Gotcha. Uh, so you said, but you said vacant, and all your firefighters are okay as well? Everybody's okay, nobody was hurt, and nobody was found in the structure at all. You know, we're seeing a lot of instances recently where some folks are just trying to stay warm. It's a very cold day, and I'm not <laughs> saying this is it, but just in case. Well, they're going to check it out and make sure, but uh, we have an investigator on scene right now, and when he's done with his, his investigation, we'll have the findings. How much damage in the residence, they see very much? or You know, I haven't been in to uh, be able to check it out, so I can't tell you right now how much damage has been done on the inside. Okay. Thank you. You good? Yep. We're good. Thanks, Jason. Thank you, Chief. All right, there you hear it. Nobody, nobody was in there at the time, as far as we know. No, not as far as I know. All that I know is it was abandoned vacant house. Okay. Search from fire personnel reported nothing. There's nobody found at all. So basically it was the first floor the fire. No extension to the other ones. Okay. Did you smoke get upstairs? Or? Yeah. Okay. Smoke up throughout the entire house. Okay. So fire on the first floor, smoke all the way through. Okay. So another vacant house has caught fire here in the capital city. We don't know at this juncture, why it caught fire? We don't know the details of it. Again, we didn't know of anybody being in there at the time, and sure enough, nobody was in there at the time. The house appeared to be vacant. We had another vacant house that caught fire about the same time yesterday, over in the 300 block of Southwest Polk, 307 Southwest Polk to be exact. We don't know they're related. We're not saying they are related, but there have been a lot of vacant buildings here of late that have had fire. There's no utilities on in this particular residence. So. Pekin Fire Department has an investigator here on the scene. That investigator is checking it out. And as soon as they get information on that, I'm sure they'll let us know and we'll let you know. Reporting again from Central Topeka here, just across the street north of Washington University at 1530 Southwest 17th, this is Bill Anderson for CJOnline.com.